Okay, I'm at the Mikiola house. You look around and there's a lot of really nice houses. And then you look around and there's some, you know, not so nice houses. Nice walls, good landscaping. The one on the right over here looks kind of old. But it rained really hard last night. I don't see any issues with drainage or water. This driveway is pretty terrible. There is a parking spot right there in front of the house, which I'm assuming one car would go in because you wouldn't want a tandem park in this driveway. I guess there's street parking too. So the whole yard is really in the front right here. It's not really what I would call a usable yard, you know? And there really is no backyard. As I walk up the, the mountain to get to the carport, I mean, the house looks really nice. It looks like they've got a new paint job, good window trim, real windows on the majority of the windows. But there are a couple of jalousies that I saw. So there's outside storage back here. And you could put the washer dryer here, but they have it inside. This is the backyard. Not really much of a backyard. So this is the entrance to what would be, I guess, the, the split living area. So they have the washer dryer inside, and originally she told me they had this set up to where it could be a kitchen if you wanted it to be multifamily. So you go that way, and it's the master. Got to find the lights in here. And the master closet is is pretty huge. I mean. I measured it as about 15 by 9. It's got the built-ins already that are not wire. It has the crown molding, base molding, it even has the door molding. And these are both pocket doors too, which are pretty cool. And the one going into the master is a pocket door too. Uh, if you keep going through the closet into the master, this is the master bedroom. It's got split AC, crown molding, base molding, door molding. The bedroom itself is not that big. Um, I don't think you'd have a problem fitting a, queen, a king size and then a couple end tables, but that's pretty much about it. The master bathroom is awesome. So you've got the ceramic tile floor, the crown molding, base molding, even the chair molding with an awesome looking jacuzzi tub. I like the little pebbled tiles on the shower floor, little shelf they built in and then that shower looks awesome with all those jets on it and everything. It's only got the single sink, but it's nice. I guess there really is no, no storage for here as far as like where you keep linens and stuff. Um, I walk out the hallway here, and that's the way I came in over there. Uh, I walked through the closet, but if I had not walked through the closet, this would have been the circle completing back to where the carport was. And you've got this living area here with a bathroom and then you know, the washer dryer. And then the closet was over there. If I come back here and walk back down the hallway, crown molding, base molding, door molding, it looks really nice. You got a small bedroom here with a split AC, decent sized closet with the built-ins, a small bay view from this one, but mostly you're looking at your neighbor's house. And that was the master on the left. Another bedroom here on the right. Uh, same thing, small, pretty small closet on this one, but I guess it's okay. Crown molding, base molding. Ceilings look like they're only eight feet tall. This one, uh, a little bit better of the bay view, but again, mostly you're looking at your neighbor's house. And the neighbor's house looks okay. Back down the hallway, and I get into the living room and the kitchen. And this is where the real view's at. As you're looking out there, right there, that little island out there is actually where they filmed the opening scene of uh, Gilligan's Island. Uh, I know it's an old show, but you know, whatever. Anyway, awesome mountain views, clear day, you see forever. Uh, neighbor's house. My son playing video games. Split AC in here too. Uh, the kitchen looks really awesome. Eight foot, eight foot ceilings though. 
All the cabinets look nice, appliances look nice. Uh, I really like the huge sink they put in here. It's got the apron front, stainless steel. There's not a ton of counter space. What I think I would probably do is I'd probably have like a small island here on wheels or something. That way when you're cooking, you can pull it closer to you for the stove and then when you're not using it, maybe you can just push it to the side or something. But uh, not too bad. I guess if you had to walk up from the street, this would be the door you would use. Come this way, go that way, or you could come up from that way. Uh, the deck out front is pretty awesome. I guess this would be mostly what you'd use for your yard if you wanted to barbecue or hang out or relax or whatever. It's pretty big. The railing looks a little old, but it looks like they replaced all the planks with like a hardy board instead of a wood. But again, the view is it's pretty awesome. And you can look up to and you see some of the nicer, bigger houses. And then down the street a little bit, the neighbor right there. Yes, sir. Did it ring? Oh, you're done. Oh, I was looking down at the yard, terraced yard. And I'll go show you the upstairs. You want to follow me? Come on, let's go. We can go upstairs. So this goes to out, an outside area that I don't think you'd really use. There's not really much to it. There's the bathroom downstairs. Right here. It's nice. Doesn't need any work or anything. Let's, let's go. A water heater's in here. And then stairs, additional storage. Up the stairs. The carpet's okay. Uh, not great. And here's one of the remaining jealousy windows. I'm not sure why they didn't change that out when they swapped out all the other ones, but. Upstairs, you've got a small living room here with a deck and a nice bathroom with this one actually has the vaulted ceiling with the skylights and the vaulted ceiling back here and then the bedrooms too. It's got the older jealousy windows but the view up here is even better. The bedrooms up here are kind of small though. I would think, if anything, this would be the area you probably stick guests if they came. No, no base molding up here though. Looks like the carpet might be new. It could be why they haven't put it up. Um, this bedroom's kind of small too, but a little bit bigger than the other one. And it would have a, a pretty good size, you know, walk-in closet. Can I walk through too? I think if it wasn't for the if it wasn't for the bathroom being kind of small and not that great, I think if you took out this wall in between the bedrooms and possibly even this wall right here, this would make a killer master suite because you'd have privacy, you'd have awesome views, your own and I, but again the bathroom, the master bathroom was downstairs. That's the one that is really nice. Um, We'll go back downstairs. A little bit more of the uh, not so awesome neighbors, but then some of the ones across the way are really nice. So, walk back down the stairs into this little room here. And that's the way out to the kitchen. And that's the way out to my car where I parked. Uh, to the right over here was the master closet. And you walk back through to the master. And the bathroom again. Back down the hallway. And into the kitchen living area. They're really, 
I guess there really is no dining area if you use this as a living room. I think the view is the price, the selling point on this one. That's pretty awesome. It is nice, huh? Yes.